In the past few years, EA Sports have been releasing an event called Foot Birthday, celebrating their ultimate team birthday or anniversary. Imagine if EA released such event in FC Mobile as well, celebrating the anniversary of FIFA Mobile or FC Mobile. That would be awesome, guys. But you know what? EA never did it. But we are gonna make our own Foot Birthday or Foot Birthday Mobile team. For this, I have chosen the players that were selected for the Foot Birthday event in console. So basically, I'm gonna put all the players in spin the wheel and whatever player that we get on the wheel. Those are the players that we're going to use for the foot birthday special team in FC Mobile. And now first we got the goalkeeper position. And in the goalkeeper position, there is only one top goalkeeper in the console version, guys, which is Edwin Van der Sur. So yeah, he's going to be the card we, we will be using, guys. And I've already got his card in my club. So let's go and place him in the team, guys. All right, guys. So the first player that is coming to the team is Edwin Van der Sur, one of the best goalkeepers of all time and also the best goalkeeper in FC Mobile. And this is the card I've got. Great card, 100%. 25 ranks and it is absolutely mental having him in a, in a team is like having an extra man he's like the wall and i love this card so this is going to be the first portion we're going to spin for the left back and right back guys all right guys in the left back portion there are two good left backs zambrota and jordi alba so these are the top rated left backs that got featured in the foot birthday on console and the left back of the day it's going to be zambrota guys i've already got incredible zambrota in my club and i think that's a great one to be honest you know what let's spin for the right back and then we can put the left left back and right back together so let's go do it in the right back we got two solid icon options Carlos Alberto and Zenedy so let's go and spin the wheel guys let's see what the wheel is going to give us anything between these two is absolutely fine and I think it's going to be Zenedy guys I mean I would love to use Zenedy imagine if EA releases a good right back Zenedy card that would be awesome I guess I've got both the right back and the left back as well so the right back okay I got this 92 rated Zenedy guys so welcome to the team Zenedy and the left back is Zambu Brota. So two solid full backs guys. A Juventus legend and a Inter Milan legend. This is made in Italy guys. I mean yeah let's go. Zambrota looks like a solid card. This is a great card. 131 pace, 135 defense, 110 physical, 115 dribbling and 100 passing. Although his stats not might be better than Roberto Carlos. He feels better than Roberto Carlos in the game guys. His dives and tackles is actually quite useful as well in some situations. Great left back card and then we got the Zenity. This is actually quite an old card. I think it's like 3 or 4 more than four months old card uh, this is from the rivals event and yeah this was a free to play uh, card back then now let's move on to the center back guys in the center back i have put in Laurent blanc arojo nesta and rude hullet as well because the rank of rude hullet has got center back as a second position also they're not going to center back options so that's the reason why i put in rude hullet anyways i'm going to spin the wheel twice we need two center backs so here we go the wheel is spinning and the first center back it's going to be nesta guys so nesta recently got a kickoff uh, event icon it's a nice one I'll take it and let's remove this option and let's go spin again. Let's see what the second spin is going to give us and it's going to be Araujo guys and Araujo has got a I mean rival center back card for sure so that's actually crazy good center back duo guys. So Nesta has got actually a cheap card guys I mean this card deserves to be higher in price but because he's in the past uh, his price dropped a lot and yeah this is a great card. I'm just going to get it for 31.5 million coins so let's go Nesta and then Araujo two solid center backs and surprisingly both of them are priced similarly guys so let's get them both and so far we are putting on a solid defense guys and the purchase of nesta is done and now we are waiting for araujo guys in the meantime let's just go place nesta in the team welcome to the team nesta and that's us defense guys crazy good defense so far and in the midfield we've got royce root hole pele barella frankie de jong K kdb and perlo so i'm gonna spin thrice so let's go this is spin number one and the first spin is gonna give us I think it's Verlo or KDB. I think this Verlo, guys, not at all bad. It's turning out to be, you know, a past and present AC Milan team uh, slowly. But you know what? That's not at all a bad one. So Perlo is the first one. And the next one is going to be, let's have a look at the wheel. The next one is going to be Marco Royce or KDB. I think that's Marco Royce, guys. Not at all bad. I haven't tried this card. So yeah, it's a good opportunity to try this card. And the, the final one of the day in the midfield portion, it is going to be, let's have a look. It's between Pele and Rood Hullet. So it's Rood Hullet, guys. So that's an absolute dub. So I love this one. We put on a solid midfield, guys. Perlo has got a, a card very recently, guys. He's got a 95 rated CDM card. So, okay, I'm just going to get this one. 81 million coins for that one. And the next card is going to be the cam card, which is Marco Royce. So let's go and get the highest rated, one of the highest rated cams in the game, which is Marco Royce. 44 million coins for this one. And also, I love the Centurion's card art, guys. It looks beautiful. All the purchases have been successful. Now, 
let's go place them all in the team. And the center back, Araujo. I think Araujo plays in the right center back position if I'm not wrong. So let's just put him there. And in the camp position, we've got obviously Marco Royce. So welcome to the team, Marco Royce. And then the CDM position, the center bit position. So in the CM, of course, we've got Lord Hollet. Crazy good card, by the way. And then the final center mid player or the CDM player. So let me just put on the CDM filter. And here we go, Pirlo. Welcome to the team. So this is our midfield plus defense. And also, let me quickly show you the stats of Araujo, guys. Araujo, not gonna lie, still decent stats. 93 defense and 95 physical. And also, it's quite tall as well. So that's quite advantageous. And the next at the back is Nesta. 98 defense and 94 physical. And also, create pace. 89, which is good. So Nesta is definitely a good card. I've heard very good reviews about him. The center mid road holder. My favorite card in the game by a mile. And I just can't stop talking about him because he's the best in the game, guys. These are the traits he's got. And the next one is the Perlo card. Oh, wow. Perlo has actually got a great card this time. All 80 plus stats apart from physical. I think we can work on the physical and defense by the skill points we get. And looks like a crazy good card, guys. I mean, look at the passing. 99 passing, especially after the new gameplay update. I think this card is going to be absolutely mental. And yeah, look at his short passing, guys. One or three short passing. By the way, if you don't know, in the new update, the passing stat is very important for the midfielders because, yeah, they made passing overpowered. So we got a spin for the attack, guys. And I'm quite excited because in the attack, we've got some juiced options. So these are the options that we have in the right wing position. We've got Salah, Messi, Rodrigo, Bukio Saka, and Dennis Burkamp. Some insane options there. Anyone among these is absolutely fine for me. So let's see what the option is going to be. And that's Lionel Messi, guys. That was actually quite nice. Well, the striker position is not as juiced as the right wing position, but it's still got some great options. we got Van Nistelrooy, we got Raul, we got Ian Wright, Benzema, Mane, and a bit of Slav Klose. Eh? Lots of good options there. So let's go and see what the wheel is going to give us in the striker position. And it's going to be Ian Wright. Oh my God, he actually doesn't have any good card, guys, in FC Mobile. Unfortunately, I've been waiting for EA to release a good card for him. And the left wing options are also quite juice. Young Vincent, Thierry Henry, Stoichkov, Diago Jota, and Perez. So yeah, apart from two options, the rest three options, they got great, op uh, great cards, guys, in the game. And it's going to be Henry or Son. So I think that Son, guys, Young Vincent has got a nice ultimate team of the season card. So yeah, that's not at all. But I mean, ultimate team of the year. Honorable mention. Sorry, it's not ultimate team of the year. It's honorable mention. So that's not at all bad. So let's go and use Young Vincent in the left wing position, guys. You know what? Let's begin by placing Lionel Messi in the right wing position. So welcome, Lionel Messi. And this card looks absolutely cracked. And especially with the new gameplay update. Yeah, after they boosted the dribbling and passing stats. This is going to be much more expensive card for sure. So yeah, that's the right wing. And moving on to the left wing, do we have Young Wins on? No, we don't. Let's go and get Young Wins on, guys. He's got 95 rated. Nice. Honorable mentions card. 5 star week. 4 4 4 star skill. Most great card, guys. And finally, we've got the striker. And in the striker, we got Ian Bright. So let's go get Ian Bright, guys. Uh, Arsenal legend. 87 is the highest rated Ian Bright card. And let's, you know what? Let's just rank him up. So I'm going to get four of these. And also, let's get a few of uh, these normal ones. So I think that should be enough to rank him up. And the purchase of Young Wins on is successful guys and yep uh ian right also purchase done now we, we are just waiting for this one. Oh wait why did i even place him for higher price oh never mind okay here we go we we overpaid for this ian right card but anyways let's go and assemble the team guys in the left wing obviously we got young min son he's an insane player guys if if he's not a tottenham hotspurs player i would have loved him to the core but anyways yeah uh we have to put in the striker which is ian right okay right here we go we bought him in and now it's time to rank him up guys we got a max rank him okay so okay why did i even use the normal version that is bad anyways yeah here we go so 90 rated it's done now i think you can go up to 92 rated guys so let's go take him there and yeah this should be fine oh no that's a failure no freaking way guys wow anyways oh i'm just gonna go one it's a failure again. All right, that's fine because these are not Mascheranos, so I don't really mind that. Oh my God, it failed again, guys. How How is this even happening? But yeah, here we go. Oh my God, 60% got failed four times in a row. Luckily, this is not Mascherano or else my subscribers would have cooked me big time. So yeah, let me just get more of these cards. I'm sorry, guys. That is such a dumb move, but you know what? That's fine. Uh, these, these are just normal 1 million worth cards. So yeah, I don't really mind uh, wasting them. So let's just get a few more. Yeah, here we go. 
this should do the job. I think we spent like more than 20 million coins for Ian Wright, but that's absolutely fine. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Let me just do this now. Okay, finally, it's a successful with 80%. Yeah, the next time I'm gonna go 100%. Yes, honestly, here we go. I think this should do the trick. Yeah, obviously, that's 100%, and obviously, it's gonna be a success. And yep, it's a success, guys. So finally, we completed the team. Let's have a look at the team, guys. We actually made a 98 rated foot birthday team, guys. That is absolutely mental, not gonna lie. We made a crazy good team. You know what? We made a good team. Now let's play using this team in a head to head match and let's see how this team is gonna perform, guys. All right, guys. So we found a head to head opponent. Haven't played a single match after the update. Uh, so let me know in the comment section below if you're actually um, enjoying the update or if you're disliking it. Let me know the reasons why so that I can forward those, you know, your feedback to the EA. Anyways, yeah, let's go and start scoring some goals, guys. Okay, Messi. That's nice, Messi. Oh, wow. Messi still got... Wait, how is it not a foul? Anyways, the dribbling feels much better already. I can notice that. The quick turns, the sharp turns are back. Come on, root hole. Oh, let's go. Oh my God. I thought that was a goal. But anyways, he already made a substitution. Wait, what? Winnie Jr. goes off for Ronaldo. Weird one. Messi. Right. Come on, score this one. Let's freaking go that was a well uh, you know worked goal guys I, i've been you know trying to do the short passing because ea told that short passing is going to be better now and yep i definitely feel the short passes are much better than before guys and right before the half time we scored the first goal so 1-0 guys not at all bad first half we played lots of passing football next half i'm gonna try my best to take some power shots or something you know let's try it out nested to royce royce rural head look at the passing the passing looks so crisp son to ian right and the dribbling as well. I can feel the difference, guys. I can feel the difference for sure. Right? No, that's... I was trying to do a finish shot there. But yeah, that got triggered as a different shot. Anyways, yeah, let's go. Ah, uh, that's a very bad shot, to be honest. He, he should have done better there. Oh, now we might get counter -attack. I think we're getting counter attack here. Uh, he's offside he's offside he's offside that's for sure boring match honestly but i've been just testing out the new features guys i mean the new passing and the new dribbling and all etc so far the dribbling and passing definitely feels better and also i feel the defending has gotten a bit harder you know my defenders are, are moving like trucks now let's go messi the final goal and the final minute of the match so i think we finished the match i'm actually liking uh, the new update a bit because the dribbling and passing definitely it's miles better than before you can do the sharp turns and stuff now and also the passes even in tight passes you can complete it successfully i felt the defending was a little bit harder than before guys these are my initial thoughts on the gameplay that's it guys i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you did make sure to subscribe to my channel and go watch this video next